Hello everybody, I will show you what you'll need to be able to do your own compression bandaging at home. When your legs are basically fluctuating in size and swelling, you can do this at home. Here are some of the stuff you'll need. You'll need a bandage stocking. This is the first thing to go onto your legs. You'll then proceed with a toe bandage for your cute little toes. These are bandage paddings which you put on your legs so that they will protect your legs as you are wrapping them. They will go under the short stretch bandages. These are short stretch bandages that you will use for your bandaging. They come in different sizes. We have 8cm, 10cm and 12cm. So you will need these in different sizes for the different parts of the leg. And the micropore tape. You'll have to cut it ready so that it'll be easy for you as you wrap along the way. So, before we put on our stocking net, because it can be quite drying and because of poor circulation in our legs which makes our skin very dry, it is very important that we moisturise first. Any type of moisturiser will do. Just ensure that your whole leg is properly moisturised. Especially around the toes and heels where it is very dry. Do ensure that all your skin is moist so that it doesn't crack. Once you have moisturised, you will pull on your stocking net. You can put them on like a normal stocking. I find it easier to collect all of it around the toes and pulling it up until it is just where my toes start. And then we'll gently pull the net all the way up the leg and then we can just start adjusting it. So now I'll show you how to bandage your little toes with the toe bandages. So I'll first put your toe and make sure you're comfortable. And you start with the ends. Now ensure that your bandages are on this direction and not this way because it's just easier to roll it around. And you must pull your stocking off a little. So that now you can put your toe and you just start rolling it. You roll it once, twice, and now you put it around your toe. Now ensure that you do not pull and tug on it to make it very tight because you'll find that it'll cut off your circulation. It'll be very painful. So three times, ensure it's on top. Roll it behind at the back. Then come up and now we're going to wrap our second little toe. Now because this obviously becomes too long, what you'll do is you just fold it a little bit and roll it around. It's too short and you'll leave it. Otherwise, you can leave it here and it should hold. If not, stick it gently underneath neatly so that it does not have a lump. And then what you do is you will fold this down. This is how the back of it looks. And then what you do is you fold it down. Ensure that the stocking does not crease because this would be very uncomfortable under the bandages. Now that our toes are properly bandaged, we will now need to use our bandage padding to protect our skin. 
So now here, we we'll start with one and we we'll start from the foot and then we'll work ourselves up to the thighs. So before you start, the bandage, uh, the stocking is over here. You will pull it in between your toes and use your toes to hold it. This prevents the stocking net from running up as you're bandaging itself. So now, once you pick your toes, you start with the padding. And you'll just gently just roll it over. And as you roll around your foot, just about overlap it about halfway. You don't have to pull it too tightly. It's just a gentle lace gently on your skin. And then you will just roll yourself up. When you finish the roll and it's not quite enough, what you'll just do is take the next one and just overlap on a little bit and continue rolling. So you will keep doing this and work your way up the leg all the way to your thighs. to ensure that it's, you want your stocking over your padding. Keeps it kind of neat. If it's too much, what you can do is you can just pull it and or you can just cut it off with a scissors. And there, your leg is for now to use the short stretch bandages to bandage me. So now we're going to start on bandaging our leg. But before we start on using the short stretch bandage, you will remember to remove the little stocking from your toe and fold it back over the padding just to ensure that it's nice and neat. So it's covered like that. And we'll start off with the 8cm short stretch bandage because it will fit nicely, especially over your foot. So always ensure that all your bandages are properly rolled um, before you start because that will ensure the ease of bandaging yourself. So when you start bandaging, once again, your bandages should be in this direction, the roll above you and comes out like that because that makes the rolling easier than if you do it in this way. So we'll start off right in the, probably about the middle of the top of your foot, somewhere there, hold it down and pull it gently. Slight pressure but not too much because if you pull it too tight it will bind your feet and cause a lot of pain. So you'll just go there around then from here I do around the ankle and pull it up remember not to pull too tightly and I'll put it right above that When you finish, what you'll do is you'll use one of the micro pore tape that you have pre cut before and just use that to tape it down. Usually, you use maybe at least two to ensure that it sticks well. So, this is on your foot. And we'll go up to the shin. So Usually for my shin, I'll use a 10 cm bandage and I'll just start off somewhere just above the ankle. I'll start rolling again. Usually two hands and just gently roll, a little bit overlapping, especially for the edges. And then just slowly overlap, probably about 
quanh thế đó có lý Here at the end, I can do right now. I'll just just give it a little stick. So I'll take another E and M bandage. And what I'll do is just I'll just start from where it is, so it covers it up a little. The knee, just bend the knee a little bit as you fold and roll. Stick this on and you've got half your leg done. So as we went to the thighs, just to sew. Just carry on on. It's okay if your micropore or uh, your edges are shown. So you start at the top here. And this time I'm using a 12 cm bandage, especially for the thighs. How many you use depends on well the circumference. the end, just pull your stocking up because then you want to be able to just fold it over and then it just looks a little neater. Then it happens, it's okay. And if you want, you can put a little, pull this over a little bit, and get that. So that didn't take very long, and I think after a few times and a bit of practice, it will actually be quite easy.